Okay, so we'll be doing China Small Legacy once again. Hopefully it's a better uh, outcome this time around. Let's start a new game. Once again, quickly adjust the budget. Get rid of much of the bribes and propaganda. Increase science services. Secret services, army, agriculture, industry, and start intervening up in Egypt, preparing, preparing the land. The five nodes we are going to once again sabotage it gently. Once again, we are going to do nothing and let them go at it. Oh shit, completely forgot about setting up our science. Uh, once again, I'm going to start on industry. Electricians in Thailand, supporting once again the coalition of communists with the uh, left. Again, so in line. Again, the newspaper stuff, and we are going to once again withdraw and prohibit the circulation of the newspaper. Investing over here a bit more. Save it a bit. Turn the main square. Once again, how I'm going to go off and cord on the area. Start very um, linear. Nothing that you guys have not seen before. Increasing these things. And the earthquake. Request funds and humanitarian aid. We need to put a bit of money in the bribes. To try to gain a bit of party uh, support. And now it's dead. Once again, cremate him and do build the memorial she desired. And now for the Thailand, the civil in Thailand. Once again, I'm going to support the civil and immediately provide some diplomatic aid for the communists. And send over some weapons. The gang of four, once again, arrest all four of them. You're um, going to again put a uh, Pol Pot out of the picture. <clears throat> we are going to assign for take off your, the East. Uh, this guy, no, he's not, so we are going to put him. Pragmatic and thrifty. Left radical.
during soft change event how we are going to do the cultural revolution once again I'm going to continue the work of Mao while phasing out the cultural revolution Realization is decreasing. Oh fuck, more empty slots. Ah, cool, now the MFA. Mm. Who are going to put? I cannot put these guys, they are not influential enough. I can also not put these guys for these three positions over here, but they are also not influential enough. I can put these guys and these guys. Mm, let me see these guys. Yes, chairman of the capital, mm, leader of the left radicals, and yeah, the leader of the moderates. I'm going to put here to the MFA, MFA. Take advantage of that surplus to start putting a bit more money. And a bit more propaganda to try to rise up the support of the people. The enemies of my enemies. What to do with the reformers and the liberals? And I'm going to strike the reforms and clear the way for the moderate conservatives. Having issued the support of the moderate conservative majority, you criticize the opposition of reformers at the Nazi Congress or the CPC Central Committee. And using your influence in the Ministry of Public Security, you begin actively interfering in the careers of various less eminent reformists and promote your own people from among the moderate conservatives. The people to whom your criticism has come reminded, reminded of course, dissatisfied. I did the reformist string of the party, but your position is significantly strengthened. Uh, and the conspiracy is firing off. Once again, I'm going to call in the army to put these factors in the place. Talking about calling the army, I'm going to send in some weapons for the communists. Also, send in some special support. Special support. The solution. How uh, the party, what's going to be the official system of the party? I'm going to have myself doing this, the conservatives, writing it up. So again, um, I cannot just support my entire in the Philippines. Okay, um, the Indians. Once again, I'm going to support the opposition and get me some trade relations with the Indians. Okay, the science is done, the improved conveyor production. Now to develop our own industrial technologies. Back to the roots. Uh, once again, we are going to revive this, the plant's uh, economy system. And once again, we are going to focus on the development of science. Put a bit more propaganda. Then take a bit from the envelopes. I'm going to limit with small civil liberalization. No, nothing of that big uh, use of pressures, traditions, and religions. Uh, 
um, I think it's good. I'm going to send in some more special assistance to the communists. And then also going to support the Maoists in the Philippines. My biggest problem right now is the support of the people is slowly but surely falling. Everything else is going pretty well. It would be nice to lower the international reputation, but the fact that they're not going to uh, make any concessions. Mm. Again, the coup in Pakistan. I'm going to once again help Putin. In Pakistan continues its way towards socialism. And I need to decrease my spending a bit. I'm going to take another voice from envelopes. Again, interfering the social uh, the Soviet party. Mm. I'm not going to do. I'm going to leak the information on the Central Committee of the Soviet Party. It's Fred Kulakov. Today, number in the journal in Jibao. I exalted the article the reform in the Politburo of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union Central Committee, in which Fyodor Kulakov, as named the Marxist decentralizer, Titoist, Communist, uh, in echo in quotes, a dangerous enemy of the inter entire international communist and workers' movement. Particular emphasis the article was placed on the fact that Kulakov may be highly likely to leave the USSR after the death of Brezhnev. At the same time, special services had organized a leak of information about the reformist aspirations of Kulakov in the Communist Party Soviet Union Central Committee. In July of 1977, plan of the Communist Party Soviet, Soviet Union Central Committee, Fyodor Kulakov was criticized and deprived of all his posts. He suffered from acute stomach disease which caused a weakening of the nervous system, and on the night of July 17, 1977, he died suddenly from heart paralysis. Those have greatly weakened the reformist leader of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Good, awesome. So now the, the Soviet Union is going to be more hardliner. Awesome. Death to the reformists. Uh, going to again pull some money from the envelopes and put that into propaganda. Oh fuck, I completely forgot to send the support for Gaddafi's. Going to really take away some money from welfare to do this. Getting the trade with relations with the Libyans. Stand of the Libyans still rising. Okay. We feel our industrial technology now we're going to start doing the final recovery from the Great Leap. Okay, everything's pretty, pretty well, just need to get rid of the inefficient construction and the aftermath of the Great Leap. Might also be nice to get rid of these bash transformers, but also but just to give nice party support and unity to stabilization. So maybe not nice to keep it through. This we definitely want to get rid of. Okay, and this we are going to once again support the overthrow of Sadat to help Egypt become a reformist and become a trade partner. I need to decrease a bit more my expenses. We do not need all these state mechanisms, we are going to decrease that. And then also going to decrease a bit of the welfare again. And again. It's stagnating the standard of living. Not good, but it's not too bad. Again, the fate of Pashin Lama. Again, if he wants to go, he needs to give up his position. And he refused once again, okay? I'm going to eliminate Kenji Miyamoto in Japan.
I cannot have, I cannot support him completely. Mm, I'm not going to waste agents on this. Not respond to Hungarian events. Cada launch attack on Visco and his supporters. It seems that soon uh, Visco and his supporters will be waiting for their res uh, resignations, and in the place, Cada will promote young reformers. Oh well. What can we do? And now supporting Burma, once again, getting Danny on my side. Diplomatic rights to the US. Uh, I'm going to pass part of a poison policy position as a sign of good will. That's going to greatly decrease my agent network and my global influence, but whatever. I abandon some of our foreign policy claims, reduce the support of loyal position in other countries, and, in general, reduce the degree of intervention in Chinese politics. The spot perceived by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the US tends to increase, like our influence. Motherfuckers. Talking about that, let me see um, how many. I'm going to send some weapons over here. and not be able to support the great communists this time. New democracy won, the election by a small margin, the new government intends to continue the economic reforms, and have China and fuck, have Greece join the European Union and NATO. Damn. Oh well. The cooperation between the Iraq Communist Party and the Baath is falling apart. A uh, cooperation formed in 1968. In May 1972, two the representatives of the Iraqi Communist Party are officially introduced to the government, although the Communist Party has still an informal position. However, the cooperation turned out to be short lived. Recently, the Ba'ath leadership in Iraq has once again begun to unleash repression against the communists. But there is there still room? But there is still room for maintaining the fragile coalition. I cannot intervene, so I'm not going to jeopardize my relationship with Saddam. Having suffered for some time from successfully trying to escape relationships with the Ba'ath leadership, Ba'ath leadership, the Iraq Communist Party eventually decided to break. In April 1979, Communist ministers withdrew from the government. The Communist Party's participation in the national movement. In May 7, 1979, the leadership of the international of the Iraqi Communist Party decided to withdraw from the PNPF and go to the legal situation. Nothing I can really do about that, sadly. Revolution. For some time now, protests have been taking place in Shah's Iran, aimed at the difficult social economic situation of the people. The Shah's pro American policies, the rampant corruption of the ruling elites, and the oppression of the Shiite clergy by the state. However, today the protests went into a hot phase after the anti government demonstration was shot uh, by the police in Khan. It has caused by has caused by the slanderous articles about Akla, the high spiritual title of the Shaitan Islam, Khomeini, the spiritual leader of the protest, who was expelled from the counter in 1964. After this, protests and strikes swept many cities in Iran. Islamist movements, such as the movement for free Iran and the Society of the Flightless Clergy are the driving forces of the upcoming revolution, but other organizations also work for the overthrow of the Shah. The largest of which are the Democratic National Front of Iran and the Marxist-Leninist People's Party of Iran. The revolution in Iran can drastically change the balance of power in the Middle East. Mm. I cannot interfere now, not have enough agents. Everything continues to go into our interference.
As you know, the anthem for country since 1949 has been the march, the march of the volunteers, Nye and Tianhan. However, during the so-called Cultural Revolution, Tianhan was arrested um, on a false accusation and died in prison. In the popular song, the East is Red, glorifying the late President Mao Zedong, became de facto anthem. Now, when we stop the Cultural Revolution and posthumously rehabilitated Tianhan, as we are normalized the situation in the country, the question rose about state symbols. A large group of party members proposed to restore the march of the volunteers as an anthem already officially. Already officially. However, your associates, in principle agreeing this, believe that the neck tackle of the hymn should be changed by reference to Chairman Mao and the CPC. True for both op options, uh, we need money for conversion. At the time, the radical noise remained in the party, wrote to you, with a letter in which they proposed to give the status of the hymn the East Shred. I'm going to restore the march of the volunteers of the new tax. Today, the broadcast of the Radio Peking began to march of the volunteers, but with modified tax, which on the Great Communist Party, the Communist Tomorrow, the flag of Mao Zedong. In this version, it has approved, it has approved that the national anthem, the PC, PRC. There shall some discontent among in the party, although the people in general accept it. Okay, fulfill the finish the final cover from the Great Leap and now going to the full industrial equipment. April Revolution. On April 27, in Afghanistan, as a result of instability of power, impression and discontent of the people by the arrest of the leaders of the left opposition party, PDPA, a military coup took place beforehand planned by the PDPA. The general public welcomed the revolution, having come to power the PDPA had by new Muhammad Taraki begun the construction construction of socialism and orientation towards the Soviet Union. However, the future of Afghanistan is too big, as, is the, as in the PGPA itself there remains overwhelming split between calm and partial factions, which actually existed as two independent parties from 1966 to 1977. Calc consists mainly of low-income and semi-proletarian groups the course of opposition activities focused on legal work and the advocated revolutionary struggle, and now seeks to advocate uh, this organize a quick transition of the country to, to socialism and the dictatorship, dictatorship of the proletariat. Parsha, which in the years of the opposition gave power to legal and parliamentary struggles, now strains for gradual, general democratic reforms and generally inclined to reformist believing that Afghanistan is not ready to build socialism. In the meantime, the CPC is seriously concerned about the expansion of Soviet influence in the region. I'm going to support Parsha, the guys that are focused on the parliamentary struggle. After long dispute, so I decided to start relations with the new uh, government of Afghanistan, especially with the Parshan faction in the PDPA, People's Democratic Party of Afghanistan. This turned out to be a simpler than we thought, because the PDPA did not take part in the Soviet Chinese controversy and, after coming to power, nominally proclaimed their policy of non-alignment. 
attempts to our support, the Pashtuns succeed in overcoming the growing pressures from Kalk, in particular the Pashtuns, together with some Kalkists, have been able to slow down the career of Hafizullah, I mean, a close ally of Taraki, who does not be trusted by the party. Yeah, in case that you not know, uh, a lot of the fighting that led to the rise of the Mujahideen, the overthrow of the Afghan government, the rise of uh, the jihadists in Afghanistan, the Taliban and all that, was due to this because the rise uh, after the, uh, the PDPA came to power, there was a conflict, if not the coup, within the PDPA that put uh, that guy, I mean, in power, and he tried to speed up the reforms, which led to the discontent of the more traditional elements of society, especially the uh, nomad, the nomads, and other uh, non-sedentary people in the clergy. So yes, hopefully that that is going to be averted. Hopefully the passion are going to be able to prevent I mean from rushing to power and hopefully there is not going to be the horizon of the Mujahideen. The Beijing Spring From the middle of this year, stormy activity of students and intellectuals began throughout the country, especially in Beijing which hangs big character posters, while newspapers with large hieroglyphs used for propaganda and protests. Uh, in the streets, uh, uh, publishers self-made magazines, big character posters, and the journals oppose the CPC conservatism, criticize the Cultural Revolution, call for economic and political liberalization, and express support for the reformers, then activities it actively uses the names. In 1977, the reformers themselves actively published the journals and newspapers under their control, criticizing our policies, saying those not a good maxim, the economy should prevail by ideology, and that pragmatism is the only criteria for revealing the truth, starting the practical advantage of market reforms in the region. I'm going to let also serve to do In the old manner, the MS and the police began to tear big character posters and search for underground samizats. And the CPC again passed a wave of purges from reformers, which however did not go smoothly due to the dominance of reformers themselves in many CPC structures. The people in reformers are unhappy, but the wave of protests have stopped, completing all the discontent and not move to a more radical action. How is the struggle in Iran doing? So I'm struggling in Not surprising. <coughs> Trying to end that war quickly. So drain my resources. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to modernize construction technology. By the new machines and construction methods, we can finally establish efficient construction system. Yeah, definitely. 
é Old Partisan. Now that Fedor Klakov has been eliminated, it's time to pay attention to the conservative windows, the CPC, CPSU. In it, of course, the brightest figure, Peter Masharov, the first secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Belarus. The former partisan commander, Masharov, had the Belarus in 1965 and achieved very significant success in the development of this republic. National Inclom has included several times, industrial and agricultural development as active, a number of enterprises are built, including the Azot Air Chemical Combine, Novopolosk Chemical Plant, Polymer, the Gomel Chemical Plant, Berezovskaya State District Power Plant. Thanks to the personal intervention of Masharov, the construction of the subway began in Minsk. The grain yield reached 27C slash high, uh, something by hectares, I believe. In the grain harvest, uh, 7.3 million tons. However, because of his line of renovation of staff, Masharov called dissatisfaction in many party members. He's the rather conflicting relationship with the main ideology of the CPSU, Mikhail Suzlov, and is also very close to the disgraced Kulakov. Nevertheless, Leonid Brezhnev clearly relies on him as possible successor to the elderly head of the Council of Ministers, Kosygin. And the Prime Minister himself approves of this choice. The MGB has prepared uh, uh, several options for eliminating Masharov from the road. I'm not going to do anything. Not, not have enough money or agents to do anything. To desire to do anything. At 14:35, Piotr Masharov left the building of the Central Committee of the CPC, CPB, towards the city of Zodino Baikar de Gas 13, Chaika, which ran as a uh, six years old driver is at said. Masharov sat next to the driver behind security officer major G.F. Shesnokov. Contrary to existing instructions, they are not a car of guy with the appropriate coloring flashlights, but the white Volga with the alarm loud uh, speaking installation, but without flashlights. At the turn to the Porter Tram near the city of Smolevich at the highway Moscow Minsk, in Chaika, assisted by loaded potatoes, drum truck, gas size 53B, and the turn closed the driver and pushed over it. No one survived. Masharov, his driver and security guard, are killed on the spot. The driver of the truck died from large loss of blood on the way to the hospital. The general prosecutor of of the USSR, together the KGB of the USSR, conduct the investigation that ruled out intention of nature of the crime. The investigation team concluded that the drive of the potato truck was to blame. Okay, and this is all for today. Continue later. Saving you and end.